How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech. In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the brand new Ford Mach-E. This was at the Portland Auto Show this week. I got a chance to take a look at it before it even comes out. So let's take a look around the outside and see a couple of things that we notice about this car. First of all, it looks nothing like a Mustang, despite actually being one. It is more of an SUV crossover. In fact, I'd say it's a rather small crossover more like the Mazda CX-5 or 7, somewhere around that size. I haven't seen the Model Y in person yet, but I'm guessing it would be similar to that size. And speaking of that, this is really the car that it's after. The Mach-E is really going up against the Tesla Model Y. It is the crossover size that many people love and have, and it is giving more room in an electrified version of a car. As we can expect from a lot of electric vehicles, there are a lot of rounded corners and not a lot of openings in the front of the car because it doesn't need that cooling, but it looks very similar to a lot of electric cars. They all have a similar design as you would expect. The trunk is similar to an SUV as you would expect, similar to the Model Y, and it has a lot of trunk space from what I can see, but the windows were tinted so much that it was nearly impossible to see inside. But that is fine because right now we're looking at the exterior. Things on the inside are subject to change, which is why we really couldn't get inside or see inside the vehicle. But from what I can tell, it does have a vertical screen similar to the Model S and X. Smaller, but still very usable. I think this is the closest that any company has come to replicating what Tesla is doing with their interior. It looks pretty nice from what I was able to see. An electric car is not complete with crazy door handles, and this one has pretty interesting ones for the fact that it does not have any. To open the door, we have these buttons right above the window seal. You just press that button and the door will pop open for you. The car was locked, so we couldn't do that, but there is a button on each and every door that will pop that open. For some reason, there's little handles on the front doors to pull that open. I don't know if that's going to change, and it's not on the back, so I'm not sure if they're gonna add that later on either. And for those of you that are wondering, this car is capable of fast charging. On the front, we have our charge port where it should be, which makes sense. We have our J1772, but underneath a cover, we do have access to the additional port, which will allow us our DC fast charging. This is using a CCS combo, very similar to what we see on more American cars. It's not using Chatamo like the Nissan Leaf. This one is using CCS Combo. Besides that, there's not a lot more that we've really noticed compared to pictures and videos so far. If we do get another chance to see the inside, I will definitely update this and give you another video of a look inside. But for now, that is our look at the Mach-E. I'm excited to test drive one, see what it looks like, and its performance. They have the California Edition here, which is more on the higher end. So it'll be interesting to see how the design varies between their different trim models. But other than that, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.